Hello there, this is Alejandro and in this tutorial we will see how to create a light switch like this and when you click on this switch it's going to be changing the rotation of this element it's also going to be enabling a little more light in the top so we will see how to create this uh, on a spline taking advantage of a small new feature that is the toggle in the mouse down and the key events in a previous tutorial we saw how we can create a toggle button using different objects to trigger the state change in the toggle but now with this new feature we no longer need that much complexity because now the same event in this case the mouse down can also handle the reverse of the animation so every time that you click it's going to change or a switch between one state or another so all right let's see how we can create something like this all right so the first thing to do is to create the base of the switch so i'm going to use the very same rectangle here and i'm going to have some round corners 80 units i'm also going to have 80 units in destruction and perhaps something like 16 in bevels and maybe something like 8 in bevel types and a font for the lighting part so this basically just gives me this little round square. I'm also going to change the roundness type to be smooth, a little bit more natural. And I'm going to move my light to be on this side. So maybe it will be something like 230 and maybe 300 here and 300 there. And I'm also going to change the size to be maybe something like a thousand. All right, so I will change my background to be white or like a very bright background something like this i think should work and then i'm going to change the material of this to be also very bright maybe something like this i'm going to use overlay so i get a better transition and then i'm going to reduce the opacity of the lighting to be 60. and then i just need to play with the materials a little bit until we get something that looks good all right let's disable the shininess or maybe something like yeah I think zero should work and now I want a little depth in this so let's uh, put it maybe below this but I want the position of this to be more like on the top it's gonna be something like that and then we can increase the size a little yeah so let's say it's maybe something like this now actually I'm going to use the same color here, right? And then I'm going to use the same color here, but now I'm going to make it darker. Okay, yeah, that works. All right, so now I can start creating the actual switch. So for that, I'm just going to use a cube. So I'm going to just drop a cube right here and make sure the position in X and Y it's zero so you can see right there we already have the volume now let's work on the shape of the switch so the first thing will be to convert to smooth and edit and then uh, increase the subdivision levels here and now i'm going to start adding more loops using the loop cut tool so press there and then press in the middle of this to add more loops on my first loop i want this to be actually a little uh, bend it so let's say something like this should work and now I want to start adding more loops to make it more drastic all right so I keep adding more details until it gets um, a little more sharp in there right and I will do the same with this side so we have something like this so far now what we can do is that we can go to the edge selection and then we right click on this if you double click you, you can select the entire loop so i'm going to just do that and, and now i'm going to hold shift and i'm going to do the same on the other side and then i'm going to click here in the little red dot and i can start changing the scale of this so i want to have like a little more detail in here so let's do something like this and then let's do the same here in the bottom finally we can do the same at the back and another thing that we can do at the back is that we can increase slightly the roundness. So we have something that looks like this. All right, so right now we already have our switch and it's looking good, um, but it needs to be more to the inner of this. I'm going to disable my snapping right now and also going to disable my grid. Another thing that I want to do is I want to rotate this shape to be aligned in this bottom part. 
so that should work and now i'm going to press command g to create a group and this group i can now move it uh, this way so it's going to be kind of like more close to the surface you can see i'm actually getting a little upside on the other side but that's not an issue and what we can do basically is that we can double click this and we can hide the rectangle for now and now we can just adjust the shape very easily so i'm just gonna do something like this and that should work now let's go back to the rectangle all right so for this object we want a similar material than the one that we had before so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to select the cube and i'm going to use a switch but it's not going to be exactly the same material i'm going to make a few changes so i'm going to detach this material for now and i'm going to add another uh, dev layer here all right so i'm just going to use the smooth and then i'm going to change a little bit the sliders in here basically i just want this little darkness in there so i'm going to use a multiply and i also want this color to be a little more like purple like something like that and yeah i'm also going to put this uh, below and perhaps with a little less opacity and now i want another depth layer in this case it will be a linear a linear type and what we want is this to be on the c direction so it's going to be something like this so you can see it's right there but then we want this to be a little more close something like that and then let's, let's reverse the colors as well so it's going to be something along there and finally we can use again another kind of like dark color and this is also going to be like multiplying a little and we can put it there as well but uh, it's too much so let's maybe reduce just a little bit there and we can try make it just a little bit more like that that should work press command r to reset your camera and now what i want is that i want to create a border for this switch so i'm going to create a rectangle and i'm going to draw it like this and make sure that this is on the right position so let's now increase the round corner to be maybe 8 or 12 and let's increase the width a little and i think something like this should work but what i want is that i want to move this little bit to to the top in here and now let's make the border just a little bit like this all right so now let's just find a color that works better for this particular case let's also enable font with zero and also overlay here but then let's again just find something that works well there for the for the border uh you know what actually that looks like too much so let's make it a little smaller so it's not that much yeah something like this should work all right so now we have our switch ready and the final step is to work on the interactivity right so what we can do is that we can rename this to be switch uh, container and then we want to have an event here that is going to be mouse down and this cube is going to be our switch and in this cube we want a different state and in this different state we want the kind of like the rotation to be the opposite of what it is here so let's say this is going to be minus uh, 15 and now let's just go to the front and make sure that we adjust the position a little bit so this matches so we have these two positions now so now when we click on the switch we also want to enable the toggle feature here which is basically going to do the reverse once we click again and then we select the switch in here and we select the the state as the target state and then we use a transition of 0.2 so if we go to the play mode, we click, you can see that we have a switch working on right now. All right, but uh, I want to add now a few little details. Um, 
so I really want to have like a little detail here which is gonna be like an indicator of the light so let's say this is gonna be like on zero and it's gonna be a very small indicator right there something like this and so the material is gonna be by default something very kind of like gray color and then uh, we have a new step in this new step let's say it's something like green so it, it gets um, into a green color and now we want to do this we, are, we want to add this object in this event so let's select the ellipse and then go to the step and it's going to be also just point 0.2 so now if we play you can see that the little dot is changing so one last step is I want to simulate like there is another light that is being turned on so I want to have a point light that's going to be on the top and this point light is also going to be a little bit too like this and maybe it's going to be something like uh, yeah something like this color and a distance like a thousand so this is going to be like a dark color something like that maybe something like this all right so this light is going to have another state as well this state to be one and the base state to be zero so now when we go here and we add the light we can go to a state and then it's going to be two as well and if we play this animation you can see that the light is being turned on and one final detail is that i want the switch uh, base color to have a little more darkness in the edges so i'm going to use a fresnel layer and it's going to be dark instead and i'm going to use an overlay and this is going to be just a little there like this and maybe this is going to be something like 50 percent yeah just one like a little edge there right in the bottom so you can see there it's looking good already all right and that's how you can build your switch or toggle on a spline in 3d and you can tell here it's a very subtle effect quite simple to do all right that's it hope you like it see you next time bye bye